Hey, are these yours? Yeah, my new friends, they made a chef and well, they showed me their secret snack stash, so I got some. Cool, can I have some? Sure, but please don't eat all of them at once. Right, okay, thanks. So what do we really need for class? All we really need is our pencil case or just bring a pencil. If you want to bring your phone or a water bottle then you can do that too. Okay thanks, I think I'm ready to go. I'm gonna head off first because I'm going to class with my friends. Okay, see you. Yeah, bye. sit with us oh why of course welcome to animalville boarding school thank you so much miss go on guys we sit in the front row what's in your bag ian told me to bring a pencil and a notebook i see hi miss can we come in yes dave you can go ahead and sit yourself down thanks miss go on guys let's go You're actually gonna try hard. May as well while we're in a boarding school. Hmm, I guess. Right, so let's start. Today we are going to be working on algebra again and we are going to look at some textbook work. So before we get started on that, let me just write an equation on the board. Glad you guys could finally make it. Sit yourself down. Right. Can everyone see that from the back? Yes, yes miss. Yes, miss. Alright then. Can someone please raise their hand up and answer this question, please? Ah, oh, new girl. What's your name? Emma. Right, Emma. Could you answer this question for me, please? What is x in 3x minus 10 equals to 22 plus 7? x. x is equal to negative 8. Alright. Um, who agrees with her? Alright, let's just check that that is right. And yes, that was right. Well done, Emma. Do all of you know how to do this now? Yes. 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 Alright then, let me just erase this. Right, so now we'll be doing the textbook work. Could someone volunteer to hand out the textbooks and someone volunteer to hand out the worksheets? Um, Ethan, you hand out the textbooks and Ryan, you hand out the worksheets. And guys, remember, if you have any questions about this work, please ask because there is no point in learning if you don't ask questions and don't understand how to do the work. Understood, everyone? Yes. 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 Alright, let me just get the work for you. Do you have a pencil? No. Guys, do you have pencils? Shh! No. All mine are chewed up and you don't like that. Psst. Hey, Emma. Emma. Oh my god. What do you want? Sorry, can I have a pencil, please? <sighs> sure. Here. Thanks. Okay, guys, time's up. Please, everyone, give in their papers. And one person from the table, please also bring the textbook as well. Okay, looks like everybody has given in their paper and looks like everybody filled out those questions. Thank you so much for being quiet today and being very sensible. I will make sure to mark these when I will get home and then I'll give it back 
to you tomorrow for our double lesson like today so i'll see you guys tomorrow i guess you can go now because the bell already went everyone is excused hey oh hey here's your pencil thanks for letting me borrow it don't worry it's no biggie i'll see you later did all of you guys manage to finish all the questions yeah they were pretty simple i know right Right, I'll see you guys at lunch in a few minutes, okay? Yeah, see ya. Bye. Bye. Hey, Emma. Could we have some privacy, please? Can I help you too? Yes, actually, you can. I know who you are. What do you mean? Let's just say I did a little research on you. And? And I know what you did. What did I- You- killed your best friend what I it's all over the newspapers you killed her you blamed it on a non-existent collie gray collie to be exact but police never found that collie because you did it weirdo yes exactly you killed your best friend i didn't i or you didn't kill her and she's not even dead what what do you mean I you wasted the cops time stupid you told this whole story saying a grey collie killed your best friend. When police arrived at the scene, there was no body to be found. No evidence. Nothing. And your little friend Lavender. You thought she was dead, didn't you? Well, she isn't. She's alive and well. So you just made that whole story up. So now everybody knows you're a liar. You wasted the cops time on absolutely nothing. No grey collie. No body. Nothing. I can't believe people even believe you. She did die. What are you talking about? Don't you dare talk about her that way. Or maybe she ran away. She ran away from you. Because she absolutely hates you. Don't you ever say that. She would never. Or you're just a weirdo. You hear me? You're an absolutely idiotic loser. And you are a liar. She lies about everything. Her story. Oh, and she ran away. And oh, she heard the gunshots. Boom, boom, boom. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, isn't it? You are a liar. I didn't- You're a liar. Everybody knows that. It's all over the news. All over the internet. You can never run away from it. Come on, Rose, let's go. Oh my gosh, is she actually that Emma Parker's girl? Yeah, it's obviously her. Yuck. I can't believe Miss Robinson would actually enroll this person into our school. She's a weirdo. She should go to a mental hospital. Mm-hmm. That's where she belongs. <laughs> Guess that nightmare she was talking about to you was an eye. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Emma. Oh. Oh my gosh, Emma. Oh my gosh. Emma, are you okay? Uh, Emma? Oh my gosh. Check her bag, please. I'll try to wake her up. Okay. Oh my gosh, Emma, please wake up. Oh my god. Emma. Emma. Please. I found some tablets and a water bottle. Oh, thanks. Okay, pass me the water bottle. What on earth is going on here? Miss, I don't know, she just fell out. Please go get the nurse. And please step away from Emma. But miss, I said step away from her. Miss, will she be okay? I don't know, darling, but please just step aside. And everyone, get out of here right now. Yes, miss. I... Don't worry, Sabrina, she'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh okay. Miss, the nurse wasn't there, but I called the hospital. Ian, you've done enough now. Go to your room. So remember, Ian, please, please, please take care of her. I'll try my best, miss. Have a good rest of your day, you know. <coughs> Don't worry, look her. She'll be fine, okay? <coughs> Emma. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, at least I think so. What happened? You fainted. Right. 
Shouldn't we have class right now? All classes are cancelled due to the incident, so everybody can rest and, you know, try to get their minds off what happened. Oh yeah, your parents came to see you, but they left because they had to go pick up your sister from school. No. Are you okay? Yeah. Why? I mean, Sabrina, she... She lashed out on you, saying your nightmare wasn't true and everything. Is it true? No. How could I lie about my friend dying? My mom told me my friend died too. Why would I lie about something this serious? Sorry. It's fine. I get where you're coming from. Yeah. Hey, Emma. Yeah, you. If you ever want someone to talk to, you always have me. Okay. Thanks. I'm gonna go have a walk. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Thanks. I'll see you later. I'm- I'm really sorry, okay? I didn't mean to make you faint and- You- you see, I'm just- I like Ian and all and I- I just wanted to get him away from you because you are his new roommate and he looks like he likes you. So I searched you out and, well, I found some tea. That was my plan to ruin you so he wouldn't like you. I think it went a bit personal and a bit too deep. I didn't mean to make you faint or anything like that. I'm really sorry. Can you forgive me? I guess. I don't like Ian. He's all yours. Could I ask you a question? Sure. What is it? Where did you find all that information? About this whole murder thing not being true and everything? I just searched up your name and it came on this article. I think it was Wikipedia. I don't know. I just searched it up. Thank you for forgiving me, by the way. I accept your apology, so. Is that actually true? No. I was at the mall my friend, Lavender, Lavender Atkinson. We were talking, and I saw it. a great collie with a gun. I had a panic attack, and I just couldn't think straight, and I just ran far away from there. I didn't have the time to tell Lavender. She just stood there surprised. She was left alone. And as I turned on the corner, I heard her scream and the gunshot. And I heard her die. That's why I don't get. If she's still alive, then how would she survive such a- I am confused too. If you heard the gunshot, then why is she still alive? I don't know. Well, uh, my mom, she used to be a therapist, but she's a waiter now at a cafe in Petville. I can always ask if, you know, if you want to talk to her. It'll make you feel better if you talk it out. Or, you know, you could just write a letter and send it to her. She can give you some advice on what you should do. I think she can also help with this confusion. She has some friends in Petville who are cops. So if you do give her a letter or have an appointment with her or something like that, she can always talk to the police about it. They can check something out. Thanks. It's the most I can do to repay my action. I'm truly sorry. I really am. See you. Around. Wait. Could you make that appointment? I'll call my mom when I get back to my dorm. See ya. 